Hi there, I'm Joey from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Today we're going to talk about, well, maybe we'll talk about this right here. For a couple of years I've been asking Tony to do something about this, to cover our well. Let's see what he's got going. So apparently, Joey wants me to make something for her. I got the saw out. It's a crappy rainy day outside, so we're here in the garage. And we're going to make a little uh, wishing well to go over our well. Yes, yeah, she's been after me for a couple of years. I haven't done it yet. We're going to do it today. We're going to show you how we're going to do it. It's a pretty simple design. Um, it's up here, like most of my stuff. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get it built for her. Here you go, honey. So here we are in my messy garage. I went out yesterday before the rains and got some lumber off the piles um, so it wouldn't get all wet so I could do this. So I'm using one by eights. I'm gonna make a bunch of cuts here. Um, I'm gonna cut eight of them to 36 and then eight of them to just, on, just over 34 inches because the base of our wishing well is gonna be three feet square. So, let's go ahead and cut them up. Remember, rough cut, we gotta square up both ends. So, we'll do eight of them at 36 inches. Which, if I remember right, is three feet. We'll use the big one. Now, using rough cut, I tell people I don't do cute, I do rustic when it comes to building stuff. Right, Gina? So, now instead of measuring everything, we'll just use this one. Which is fine to do as long as you use the same one for each piece. Now for this project, I get to use my wood that has some wane in it. I don't worry about that. So what we want to do for our length here is our boards are generally right around 7 eighths of an inch. Because I, I set it to 1 inch, and then you have the kerf, the thickness of the blade. So there's 7 eighths. So 7 eighths and 7 eighths is what? 14 eighths, which is an inch and what? Six eighths, or three quarters, right? Is that right? That's right. So we want to take an inch and three quarters off of 36, and that's how long these are going to be. So these will be 34 and a quarter. Do we square up that end yet? Of course not. So, if my gazintas are right, I want 34 and a quarter. Let's try that again. So, we're going to measure this at 34 and a quarter. Oh, I wanted the big square. So 34 and a quarter. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so we now have our 16 pieces of 1 by 8 cut. Now what we got to do, we got to cut the uprights. Because we're going to be making... So I'm going to cut these to 31 inches, so there's a little bit of a gap there. It'll be fine. Like a half inch gap. That no one will see. So let's cut it to 31. And we need four of these. Well, these are not square at all. This is from when I first got the mill, where I really wasn't too good. If you look at these from the edge, they're like leaning. They're not square at all. <laughs> We learn. All right, so we have our all our boards cut for the base. So we're going to go ahead and assemble the base. Hopefully, you guys can see me. So now we're going to make the box. We have our thirty-six inch boards here. And we got our 34 and a half inch boards. Or 34 and a quarter inch boards, rather. Here. And we have our 31 inch 2 by 4s So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take them like this. And my 34 and a half inch. I'm going to go like this and nail them to these two bys. And we'll put a couple in over here. Like that. So we're going to do that and then we'll do the other side and we'll nail them together. So there's one. Okay, so there's those. Now we take our 36 inch boards and we're going to go across here with them. Is it all coming together for you? Okay, we'll get the other side. Oh, there's a compressor kicking in. Thirty-six. Hey, let's do it over there with those, huh? That's all we're doing. Okay, now we're going to take our 34 and a quarter. Right? Nope, those are 36s. You didn't tell me. Here's our 34 and a quarters. And we're going to go right up this side. We need one more. So 
we'll do this side just like this. All right. Well, that's pretty good, just like that. Ooh, look at there, Billy Bob. Now that Yankee ain't doing too bad. All right, let's go. Okay, do these over here. They're all lined up. Okay. Did that one even get a nail? It did. Once again, I'm just doing what looks best. And that's all relative. Not my relatives, but you know, relative. Grab one of these and one of these. And we'll take this out so it all looks different. All righty. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Well, that one goes on the inside now, doesn't it? It's all good. It's all good. All right. These are going to have to be spread out a little bit. So we'll start with this one here. Actually, that looks pretty good now. That's going to come in. Just a hair. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Alright, we need more bullets. Most things in here don't react well to bullets. That's almost perfect. It's close enough. That's wild. So, that is our base, as you can see. It's three feet wide. It's almost 32 inches tall. It's 31 and three quarters. Now, what we gotta do, we gotta do our uprights. Um, there's a couple different things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put four inch trim on the sides. And, but first we're going to do the uprights, shall we? All right, so we have our uprights cut. I went with seven and a half feet. It's just what I decided to go with. You can do them taller. You can do them shorter. You can do whatever you want. So I went on the 36 inch side and I found the middle, which 
Once again, if I know my gazintas, 36 divided by 2 is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a nail in here. Right in the middle. Now we're going to get our level. Hang on. Make sure this is plumb. Since I'm building it on my garage floor, I'm going to hope my builder did a good job. Okay, there's that one. There we go. Oh, that didn't even hit it. <laughs> I was off a little bit. Right there, it's not quite right. There we go, right there. Now we want that right about here. And that's got it, okay. So we have our two uprights. Now we're gonna build pieces for the top. All right, these would probably be best done with screws. So I'm putting a screw on one end, kind of at an angle. Kind of, I said. We'll connect it to this one, like so. Probably be doing this on the ground, but then you wouldn't be able to see me. Okay, there's one together, and that'll sit up on the top. Let's put another screw in the other way just to give it a little bit more strength. You heard me, I said strength. All right, so next one I'm going to do on the floor. It's just easier that way. Okay, these are going to sit up on there like so. Well, I hope you can see that. And you can, kinda. All right. <sighs> There. And that's going to sit up there like that. Now we'll get our level. There. There's our roof. I don't think these are going to be long enough. I was hoping they would be, but they're not quite. I was just going to put them up like that, but we'll cut some one by six or something, or maybe we'll do it like this. Yeah, that'll work too. That'd be beauteous. So, we're almost done. I want to put a little ledge around here. I'll use one by four for that. Something like this along the whole thing. Okay, so for the roof, I made these panels. Nice and simple. The leftover 1x8s, I put 1x4s to hold them together. Um, I wasn't going to dig out the table saw because of the rain, so I used my skill saw, cut a 45 degree bevel here, and I'm about to do that on that one there. All 
All right, boys and girls, as usual, I'm working by myself. <laughs> so I thought I'd turn the camera back on. This could be good for some comic relief as I put this roof section up there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of eyeballing this on one side. Okay. Well, it's kind of too far over. That's a little better. Now we'll get the other side in. And at some point we'll have to get that other nail out because it's going to look like heck. All right, let's get the other side up. All right, folks. That's most of it right there. Let me show you. So that's our wishing well. That will be going around our well outside. I like it. So eventually I'll add the bucket and everything, and I'm thinking of putting some trim around the end, but that'll work. That should make Joey happy, happy, happy. Is much better. So there you go, folks. She wanted it, she get it. <laughs> Whatever Joey wants, Joey gets. That's all there is to it. Um, for those of you without a sawmill, maybe you should have listened to me a couple years ago when I said buy one. Then you could build stuff like this too for next to nothing, right? Right. So a couple hours of my time, she keeps moving away from me. I'm, maybe I stink. She keeps moving away. <laughs> A um, couple hours of my time, some of my own lumber, and uh, I think she likes it. Do you like it? I like it. So that's it, folks. That's going to be it from the mountain for today. So you know what to do with our videos. And uh, as always, God bless. God bless.